Hey, what's up, folks? James from Junkyard Fox, along with special guest Woody Smith from Wood Steel Knives. I am up here in Washington, and I thought I could pay Woody a visit, so we're checking out his shop. He's checking out his knives. Great stuff, by the way. Uh, and, of course, it's tradition in Junkyard Fox. Anytime we have a special guest, we have to make an EDC dump, a pocket dump, because everybody carries, you know, in, in the genre of that we're in, in the scene that we're in with preparedness and the outdoors and all that stuff, you know, we're all gearheads. We have flashlights, we have firearms, we have knives and all that stuff. But it's interesting because, you know, when you live in a different environment, different weather, different laws, uh, different hobbies and lifestyles, you know, it's, it's fun to see how things deviate, you know, uh, and preferences as well. So without further ado, thank you, Woody, for being a guest on the channel and for allowing us to be a guest at your shop. Thank you. And uh, time for Woody to go ahead and uh, show us what he's rocking. So thank you for joining us. Let's get started. All right, so my EDC today, from start from my head down, um, I like wearing ball caps, and what I'm wearing today is a pronghorn jack ball cap. This is a, a fellow that is uh, in ties, sort of, with LT Wright, but he also has his own company, and this is this is one of his uh, hats. I actually bought this at Blade Show 2018, and uh, great guy. Check his Instagram out at uh, Pronghorn Jack. He's uh, his name is Ty. Great guy. All right. So next next uh, down is my wrist. Uh, I'm wearing a uh, G-Shock, which is a GW 1000. Uh, this watch has been my favorite watch for a long time now. It's it does everything. It's solar powered and compass, altimeter, barometer, um, you name it, it does it. It's got incredible features on it and it's extremely tough. Yeah, it's big, but I can tell you one thing, this thing will take a beating. I love it. Awesome watch. So next, I'm um, wearing my Edgewood. My favorite knife as of right now. <laughs> um, this one's in AEBL, which is what the L stands for. It's a Sabre ground. Um, it's got the True North Micarta handles, which is a recycled coffee bag, burlap sacks, and his signature fire hose liners. This knife has seen better days. It's been sharpened so many times, it's a lot smaller in depth <laughs> but this is an awesome knife awesome utility knife extremely comfortable in the hand and it rides in my Mitchell leather company leather sheath it was a custom sheath made for me so next I got Everybody's got a set of keys, right? Well, I use a carabiner a lot of times. I find this useful in a lot of situations for clipping on to multiple things. I can clip two things together, but just a set of keys. And then, of course, I got a little Swiss Army pocket knife with the toothpick and the tweezers. Everybody's seen that before, but redundancy is my middle name. <laughs> So that's that for the keys. So then from there, I carry my everyday gun that just never leaves my side, which is my SIG P365. It's got some uh, talon grips. This is the rubbery type grip. Um, this is an excellent gun. It comes with night sights from the factory, and I made the sheath for it. It's just a simple taco inside the waistband sheath. Um, of course, with this, you know, you never know where you're going to be, what you're going to be doing, but you have to have backup, and uh, no matter where you live, I always carry a, an extra magazine. This is the 12-nut uh, round. This is the 10-round mag. This is a 9-millimeter. So, never leaves home without me. So, uh, this pocket, the only thing I carry any given time is my iPhone 12 and I got a Rhino Shield uh, case on here 
which is um, an incredible case. They're thin, but I'll tell you right now, Rhino Shield makes awesome stuff. They they really do. They're just and this is just their basic uh, basic sheath or uh, case, and it's got the um, protectant on it too as well. But I've dropped this thing so many times, and it is just a bulletproof case. So that's that. The iPhone 12, great phone. Then on to my next pocket, I always have, this is something that I never leave the house with. Uh, this is my Phoenix LD30. Great flashlight. The cool thing about this thing is it has a multi-clip on it so you can wear it on your hat or you can put it in your pocket. And it's a super deep ride in your pocket, which is one of the things I like. As you can probably tell, I got some tape around this. The reason I do that is so, I know it's not good, but I put it in my mouth and my teeth. My hold, I hold it with my teeth. I don't know if I, I've never seen anybody do that to their, their flashlights, but all of my flashlights have tape on them because they're always getting held in my mouth by, by my teeth looking for something. And the cool thing about this flashlight is the LD30 is it has rechargeable batteries, a uh, rechargeable battery with it. Uh, I believe this is an 18650, yeah. But it'll also take a regular 18650 and it'll also take, it'll be power, you can power it on a AA battery as well. So this flashlight is, is awesome for, you know, end of the day situation or whatever. It's very universal. Uh, the next item, I got a, a lot of stuff in my pockets. Um, I carry a um, just a medicine bottle. It carries just basic stuff like headache medicine and, you know, acid reducer or whatever else. You just never know. It's waterproof. It's great to have that. Um, and this is a, uh, a, a little sh a sharpener that I was showed to carry from, uh, I can't remember the, the guy's name, but this is a Victorinox mini sharpener, and they're kind of hard to find. Um, but the the steel on this thing, it does a, actually a cr really, really good job on doing a touch-up if you do a little nick in your, in your steel or something. But they're just super small and light, and you can even put a little, you know, piece of paracord on there or whatever you want, but that always goes with me. And then my favorite, Leatherman. The best one, in my opinion, ever made is the Juice S2. Has pretty pretty much everything in it you could imagine, and it's small and light. Pliers are actually excellent pliers. It's got all of your small to medium size flatheads. and it has number two Phillips. The cool thing about this thing is all of that stuff's inside and what's accessible from the outside is your blade, which I get a lot of use out of that as well. And then of course your other side has your standard bottle opener. And believe it or not, I didn't ever think I'd use it, but scissors is so useful, it's unbelievable. And these scissors are bigger than normal. so. The Juice S2 is an incredible tool, and if you can find one of these ever on eBay or something like that, try to pick one up because they're extremely light and handy. And one other uh, couple things I got. I uh, always have chapstick. That's a must. You just never know where you're going to be. I think that's Burt's Bees. Uh, chapstick. You know, if you're outside, you're stuck outside, there's nothing worse than chapped lips. And my vape, I quit smoking a long time ago, and I'm a hypocrite, and I, I vape now. This is my custom-made vape from a guy in uh, Shanghai, snow-capped mods. And uh, simple, easy. And then, of course, the old wallet. I like simple, I like small. Even though I carry a lot of stuff, I like to keep things simple. And... Uh, this isn't something that's too fancy, but it was uh, recommended to me by a 
a gentleman a long time ago and I've had this wallet for probably I'd say at least five years now and it, it holds a lot I think it's got two card slots on each side and then you got an inside here for money I don't know what this is uh, Herschel is what it is great great little EDC pocket Well, that's about the conclusion for Woody's EDC. So as you can tell, he's got you know his communication devices, you know modern day stuff like a wallet, keys, but at the same time he has illumination, he has self defense, he has a cutting tool, a multi tool, that kind of stuff. A uh, small micro shelter with a hat. Of course, he has a watch, that kind of stuff. So that's about the conclusion, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and big thank you to Woody Smith for letting me hang out here at his knife shop. In case of you guys don't know. Woody Smith is the maker of the Snake Eater as well as other really awesome designs. We have a video coming soon on his shop and his other designs that he has here. So links down below to check out his website as well as his Instagram account to check out his other works. And big thank you once again to Woody for letting us hang out. Big thank you to you guys for watching. So give us a thumbs up if you, thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And comment down below if you have any questions, suggestions, and so on. And so we'll see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.